Hello everyone. So today I'm going to review my Dino Riders Ice Age Sabertooth Tiger. Here he is. He's 124 scale. It says in the box that's him on side view, front view, top view, rear view, bottom view. So mine's in pretty good condition. Um, yeah, this thing is 124 scale from what I remember. I think it says it in the box. I think it does. Or I could be wrong, but yeah, it's 124 scale. I got this back in the day when I was a kid um, in the early 90s. It came from a shop called Nova Fontana, if I'm not mistaken. And he is the first Ice Age Dino Rider I got. So overall, it's a pretty good figure. Um, I'll be getting to the accessories. I bet the rider's name is Cub. And uh, I guess he's the first thing I'll show to you guys. Cub looks a lot different from how he did in that one-off Ice Age episode. He looked more like a modern man in a um, barbarian outfit in that show, you know, with the fur vest, etc. Here, he really looks very primitive. Kind of looks like the missing link. But he is a Cro-Magnum. At least that's what, they, that's what it says in the box. So his movements are, you can turn his head around, nice seating position. You could uh, bend his knees. Arm can go all around. And he can go that far front, this far back. Kind of impeded by his loincloth. So he's pretty nicely detailed. He's got, he's got some fuzz, that body hair, over his brownish skin. So he looks very uh, missing link. Kind of looks, like looks like the missing link. Looks uh, like a primitive hominid more than a modern man, as you can see. So let me just get the camera focused on his mug. There, that's him. I'll show you the saber tooth tiger. Now, the only thing that deteriorated over time was his original blue belly band. It got all brittle, so I could use a normal black rubber band, which is what I'm using now. So this is a tiger up close. It's got lots, lots of nice texturing. He's kind of like light yellow, light brown, you know, sandy yellow, sandy brown. It's kind of nice the way it's kind of dark in some portions. So he's got a fur, uh, he's got these like nice texture over here. They really have the detailing and all that fur. His articulation is fairly limited. Um, one of his hands is sort of outstretched, so not much pose. Well, you can just pose him like this. It'll look wonky on any other pose. His arms move and his hind paws move. So that's the articulation. His mouth is permanently open with his saber fangs sort of sculpted in there. He's got nice amber eyes. And overall nice detailing. There's nice little pink and red inside of his mouth. So overall it's really good. That's how his underside looks. There, as you can see here, it says over here, Tycho. Yeah, Tycho. 1990 Tyco toys. So it's a pretty good figure. So all you gotta do is put on his saddle and his pretty cool side guns. And Cub sort of fits over here, riding on the back. So he does come with a bunch of accessories. I have mine in a little baggy including what's left of his belly band so uh, I'm gonna get to I'm gonna show you his accessories I took care of this uh, or my mom rather took care of it when I was a kid so as you can see the uh, original belly band got all hard and brittle so I just keep it for a keepsake but you can no longer use it he's got you know typical Dino Rider accessories he's got this water bag over here He's got his uh, little gun that you can fit on his forearm, kind of clamps on like this. He's got a little bandolier for ammo, I guess. He's got his amp. There's a good look there at his amp. They're cavemen, those. I don't know if he really uses an amp. They don't have mental powers, but I guess he just comes with a standard issue. He comes, of course, with this rifle that the Valorians usually have. 
Although this guy is, like I mentioned, an earth caveman Cro-Magnum. And he's got his ladder to help him climb on his beast. But in this case, he doesn't really need a ladder. So those are his accessories. And all the Ice Age Dino Riders come with this pretty cool mini comic book, which I still have. It's a nice little shot of Quest Star, Gunner, and Serena shooting at Krulos' T-Rex. Pretty nice comic book to steal the step. So uh, all of all of the Dino Rider, uh, all of the Dino Riders usually come with this comic book. For the Ice Age ones, they all come with the same one. Nice scene of the Kentrosaurus falling over, uh, falling off a bridge. So it's a pretty nice comic book. Serena gets abducted in this one. I read this over and over as a kid. Though I think I should read it again because I kind of forgot the story. So yeah. Nice artwork over there. Shows the Taurosaurus and Stegosaurus raining down fire. I really like this. Uh, I really enjoyed this when I was a kid. I, I'll probably read it again. But that's the comic book that it comes with. And it has a little catalog in the back. I circled the ones that I had as a kid. <clears throat> so I used to have the Protoceratops, but uh, it's I th I, all I got left is a Protoceratops. Monoclonius, I was able to get a new Monoclonius. The Kentrosaurus, I never had it with armor, but I do have the dinosaur itself. So there it is. Dino Riders, harness the power of dinosaurs. So those are what it comes with. So basically that's what my saber tooth comes with and this is how the figure looks it's a pretty nice figure he's the smallest of the ice age figures but he looks pretty cool looks nice and quick nice detailing and uh, overall it was a very nice childhood toy for me i got to play with him on the weekends and he was kept most of the other days of the week that's that's why he's in pretty pristine condition up to now and uh yeah so there he is that's my dino riders ice age saber tooth yeah. <laughs>